if you guys have tra- cr- come over from the X books to the Superman books together, it kind of right. solidified you guys' friendship. Right. And then San Diego Con was a, a nexus where we could all actually meet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had had a phone relationship with Joe Kelly. We talked every day for mm-hmm. hours, maybe too much. Uh, uh, so he was the New Yorker, but uh, Steve and uh, Joe Casey and I, you know, we knew each other just locally. So we would drive down together to the conventions, uh, and then Joe would come and we would all kind of hang out. And uh, Joe and I had started talking about wanting to do a creator own book uh, at some point. I was starting to itch to. St- there's a big difference between working, you know, on known titles and then creating your own real estate. Absolutely. Uh, and I really wanted to do that because I was seeing how it was going. Uh, the idea, uh, the creator own deals were not all that great at the at the at the big companies, and uh, maybe some of your creator owned uh, or, or some of your characters they weren't necessarily going to find the the light. Mm-hmm. that you wanted them to have, your ego wanted them to have, too. Uh, so I I was talking, at this time, too, my film career, actually, as a screenwriter, was kind of taking off. I had sold some screenplays and stuff, so I was feeling pretty cocky. Uh, and then I really kind of badgered uh, Joe into uh, uh, doing a book with me with Brian ha- uh, through Byron Hamblin's studio over at Image, uh, which was a thing called Machina Rex or M Rex, which then later became Generator Rex for the, uh, for the, the, uh, for Cartoon Network. Wow, so that was over at Brian Happerling Studio when it first yeah. when it first mm-hmm. started. Yeah, that was your first creator on work. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and uh, I had so much fun, and also once you kind of break yourself out and you're kind of doing the entrepreneurial thing. Uh, it's uh, I don't know it, it's addictive but also um, once you know you could kind of do it and it wasn't going to be a whole lot different than working for the big guys yeah. uh, you could still pick up supplementary work yeah. if you wanted to uh, after that uh, at the San Diego cons uh, everybody oh, I, you know that started to become the thing you know image uh, started uh, doing a lot of creator own stuff outside of the the guys who founded it. Yep. There was a bunch of other people, so an opportunity was there with a real publisher and uh, who a real superhero comic publisher that <clears throat> there had been a lot of labels and stuff, but they were all trying to build their own universes. Of course, uh, this just was a little different. You were kind of the guide of your own creation. Uh, and you didn't have to answer to anybody, and right. you could kind of do what you wanted to do. Yeah, so. All of that stuff was kind of culminating at the same time as uh, Hollywood was starting to respond. Iron Man hadn't quite come out yet, but Blade uh, had, and there was there was there was more interest. Uh, Dark Horse had punched a hole through the through the Hollywood wall, you know, and started doing things. And actually, that one of my uh, scripts I had sent over to Mike Richardson, and we'd been working on trying to get that thing uh, turned into a film forever. Um, but that was a my film career. It had nothing to do with my comics career. They were still two separate things. But I said, hey, uh, my part, I said, hey, everybody was saying, hey, all four of us at different <laughs> points. So I'm just giving you my side, of, uh, and not that I'm the one who you know initiated everything. Uh, you know, I said, well, you know, why don't we kind of pool our stuff together. Uh, we should start up a little company, a little think tank. Uh, and also, to be honest, uh, to set up a place over at San Diego where we could sit instead <laughs> of all, all of us. <laughs> Standing around with their heavy bags and all right, this stuff. Right, right. So uh, we, you know, we put together, uh, we said, okay. And Steve's a real go-getter. Steve Siegel, who, uh, you know, give him something to organize and he'll organize it, uh, which is great. Uh it's a gene I don't have quite uh, <laughs> as much. Uh, I wish I did. I, I envy that. Um, we started thinking about a name. Uh, we were going to go with a thing called Evil Geniuses mm-hmm. uh, at first. And this was uh, uh, 
all four of us, you know, it was like, okay, yeah, yeah, that would be fun. Let's just kind of start up a think tank. And I don't think we really knew what we were doing at the time. Doing at the time. We had no real idea. You know, um, we're all still independent contractors. Uh, And uh, (laughs) we uh, couldn't have it. It was already taken. And uh, Joe Kelly at at this time, he had done... uh, he had done a pretty great and definitive run of uh, Superman, and he did a great book with Doug Bankey, uh, What's So Funny About Truth, Justice, and the American Way, uh, which kind of is looked at as one of the quintess- quintessential uh, Superman stories. Uh, I gave him that title, by the way. <laughs> it's my deep love for Elvis Costello uh, and Nick Lowe, uh, What's So Funny About Truth, Justice, uh, Truth, uh, uh, Truth, justice, and the American way is the old Amer- uh, is the old Superman saying. But what's so funny about peace, love, and understanding is the yeah, Costello. Yeah, this Costello song. So, uh, anyways, he was working on action comic books, and he was going to have a website called Joe Kelly Man of Action uh, based on action comics. Mm-hmm. And we said, hey, Man of Action is actually a pretty cool title. <laughs> so uh, that's how we came up with our name for Man of Action. I, uh, Joe was gracious enough to say, okay, let's call our company, which is a non-company. <laughs> <laughs> well, thing. It's interesting because names are very telling. You know, like you, you look at a company's name and you can see um, what do they do. And you guys, like Action, like it kind of reminds you of Action Comics. It kind of has that. And it's also we get stuff done. <laughs> we go and, and we do that. Thank you.